to introduce this idea, which actually we have already talked about before, I want you to think back to this guy. Y equals 1 over x, very, very familiar function. <laughs> That's what it looks like, our, our, our friend the hyperbola, right? And the hyperbola has two asymptotes. One is horizontal and one is vertical, right? So we have a vertical and a horizontal asymptote. Uh, to get this, Thank you. we have thought about this idea um, about vertical asymptotes. They're about domain and restrictions, right? Because x is on the denominator, x can't be equal to 0, right? So x equals 0 is an asymptote. But when we get towards this idea of the horizontal asymptote, or oblique, you can't ever get there, right? So you can't just simply say, like, let that equal 0 and then see what happens, okay? We get to y equals 0 because we test out very large values. And that shows us how it's behaving as it increases and increases and increases. And we have already introduced this notation. As x approaches, gets closer and closer to infinity, y approaches 0, but we've been a little more fine than that, it's approaching 0 from above. From above. Okay, and exactly the same way in the reverse, right, as x approaches the other direction, negative infinity, it's still approaching 0, but it's coming from the other way. It's coming from below. Okay. Now, this idea here um, that we've got is this idea of approaching something, right? The language of limits takes this, right? And just writes exactly the same thing in another way, right? It says this thing that you're approaching, the thing you're going to, right? We're going to rename it this thing. This is the limit, okay? Uh, a way you can think about it is like this. If, uh, this is the analogy I gave before. If you've got a car, right? And um, you want to see as far as, as fast as it can go, right? So you're sitting in the driver's seat, you just slam down the pedal, okay? And off it goes, okay? And it's going to get faster and faster and faster. Uh, assuming you don't break, you don't take your foot off, okay? It's going to approach, it's going to approach some kind of speed, right? Whatever that number is going to be, okay? Now, the flip side of saying I approach something, I approach something, is to say that's my limit. That's as far as I can go. Suppose the top speed of my car is 250 kilometers per hour. Okay, I'm going to approach that speed. Right? I'm going to approach, I'm going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. But from the other angle, I can say that's as far as I'm ever going to go. That's my limit. I will go that far and no further. Okay, or I won't even quite get there. Right? That's the limit of this as it's behaving. So here's how we write this new notation. Okay, this first line, I would say the limit, right? Lim, short for limit, as x approaches infinity. I write this underneath, kind of like a subscript, but like it's literally underneath. Of 1 over x, right? Of 1 over x. It's actually going somewhere. Namely, it's going to zero. Okay, it's going to zero and it's going there from above. Okay? In exactly the same way, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the same thing, whatever x, is still gonna be zero, but it's from below. Okay? So I read this, let me say this again. Um, it's a little bit like logs with this funny way of actually saying the, the phrase. I read this as the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is 0 from above. The limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x is 0 um, from above. Okay? Now, I'm introducing this because asymptotes are the first place where we get, we want to understand this idea of getting closer and closer and closer to something but not getting there. So all you can say, you can't say it equals in this context, right? You can only say it gets closer and closer and closer. Okay. But here I'm saying, okay, the thing that I'm getting closer and closer to is zero. So here's my first sort of casual definition of a limit, okay? Um, you can put a big box around this, okay? A limit is, okay, a value that a function approaches. Okay, that's all you need to understand, I think. Right? Like I'm getting closer and closer and closer to there. In these cases, I don't actually get there. But as you'll see, there are some cases where you can just go there. Okay? For instance, 
let's think about a trivially simple example. Y equals X plus 2. Okay. Now, I can graph this. I can graph this. It's not a hard thing to graph. There's my y equals x plus 2. Okay. Now, x can approach infinity and x can approach negative infinity. The only reason why I choose those values is because that will give me a horizontal asymptote. But I can approach any value I like, and I can see what happens to this guy as I approach that value. So, for instance, I can think about um, the limit as x approaches, say, 0. There's a number. I can go ahead and approach that and see what happens. Right? What happens to x plus 2? as x gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? And the answer is, well, let's just think about it this way. Um, I can approach, there's x equals 0 on the y-axis, right? Unlike positive and negative infinity, I can approach 0, I can approach it from two angles, can't I? Right? I can come from the right, or I can come from the left. Okay? Now, thankfully, we have already developed language to talk about that, right? From above or from below. So what I can say is, well, let's think about coming from the right-hand side. From zero, but above, okay? So here's where I'm going. That's the direction I'm going in. From above, and I'm going towards zero, okay? So what's gonna happen to x plus two? As I'm getting closer and closer to x equals zero, right? Uh, y is getting closer and closer to two, okay? Closer and closer and closer. In this case, there are no discontinuities, there are no asymptotes. I can actually get to 2, okay? So there's no problems. I can still, this idea of the limit, right, we first meet it with regard to asymptotes because that's where it's relevant. But you don't have to have asymptotes to think about limits. It's just what a function approaches. Yeah, plus on top two. Okay, so yes, you should. Yes, you should. Now, here's the thing, though. You will notice, right, if I now think from the other side, from below zero, so that's coming from this direction, okay? Um, you can see that if I put in like what, what's happening to this, I'm still approaching the same number. I'm still approaching the same number. So in some ways, I can, can combine these two, right? Because wherever you approach zero from, right? As x approaches zero, you can come from above, you can come from below. It's still gonna go toward two. Okay? Now, this is not always the case. This is not always the case. Uh, for instance, let's think about this guy. No, I'll just do the whole thing. This graph, of course, is 10x. Okay? So if we just do regular old 10x, okay? because of all these asymptotes flying around right, and all of these parts where there are breaks in the function, okay? Um, I have an asymptote, well, actually two asymptotes here, and their equations are x equals 90 degrees and x equals 270 degrees. Okay, that's what I meant to say, okay? So now, now for instance, in this case, let's think about what happens when we think of the limit as x approaches one of these asymptotes, right, of this function. Hmm, okay? Now, here, this whole, which way do you come from, this kind of makes a big deal, doesn't it, right? Like if, for instance, I come from the right-hand side, okay, from above 90 degrees. So here's like 91 degrees, and 90.5 uh, degrees, and 90.05 degrees, and on and on and on, okay? What am I approaching as I get closer and closer? What does 10x approach? Answer, way down here, I'm just dropping forever. And there's no, it's not like minus a thousand or minus a million. There's no, no stoppage on how far I can go. So this is approaching negative infinity. Okay. But if I come from the other direction, if instead of moving from, from this side and go towards it left, right? If I go from the other side, right, from below, okay, 10x is not going to negative infinity. It is going towards infinity, okay? Whoosh, off it goes, okay? So therefore, this guy, I cannot combine in the way that this guy does, right? Because if I just say, if I just say, as x approaches 90, is it positive or negative infinity? Well, that kind of makes a difference, doesn't it, right? It's exactly the same over here, as x approaches zero, 
right? Like, well, which side do you want to come from? Because you will get opposite things, okay? So this idea of the limit, right? The side that you come from matters, but sometimes, whichever side you come from, you'll get the same thing. And so you will often, depending on the functions you get, you will often get no sign on this, telling you which way to come from. 